Playing a video game through to completion is often just the start of the wider fandom, with many members of the community offering up their own contributions. It's a great way to allow the biggest franchises to grow beyond their initial development. In this video, I'll be focusing on a wide array of content, including mods, machine cinema, and remakes. Games like Dota and Counter-Strike can also be considered fan creations, but they have grown into full commercial products that were adopted by the biggest developers over time. This top 10 focuses only on content made without AAA input. Before we start, some honourable mentions include Portal Revolution from Second Phase Software, Half-Life M mod, and the Dark mod for Doom 3. Let's get into the main list. Number 10, XCOM Long War. We start off with a different spin on turn-based strategy. The rebooted XCOM games, starting with Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within, are already challenging, but Johnny Lump and his team at Pavonis Interactive went a step further with XCOM Long War, a reworked campaign that features more missions, more soldier classes, and more technologies to research. But in return, Long War transforms the standard campaign into a much more gruelling and intense struggle for survival, one fully endorsed by Firaxis Games. It tasks the player with overcoming greater odds while also bringing back the overall feel of the older XCOM titles from the 90s. Long War is definitely not for everyone. The sheer length of each campaign and the uptick in difficulty can prove daunting for many players. Be that as it may, XCOM Long War offers up a unique challenge for anyone looking to go a step beyond the base game. An upgraded version for XCOM 2 was also released by the same modders, allowing for even more variations, including new enemies and smarter Battlefield AI that will push any fan to their limits. Number 9. Project Nevada Fallout New Vegas is widely beloved by the masses, and this has fueled a huge modding community who have improved and added to the title for over a decade. New quests, companions, and graphical upgrades are all great in their own ways, but arguably the best of the bunch is Project Nevada from the PN team. This is a highly comprehensive update that often tops the charts on the Nexus Mods page, and for good reason. Tweaks to the core gameplay are already impressive enough, but Nevada also adds a wide array of new features. Hotkeys for easy access to grenades and thrown weapons, a sprint function driven by action points, a dynamic crosshair and bullet time for better gunplay, are all brilliant additions, but how about unique viewpoints and night vision for power armor and ranger helmets? Or how about a wider variety of implants available at the New Vegas Health Clinic? The modders set out to improve the base game in every way possible, and they succeeded with flying colors, making this creation a truly essential download for any fan of Fallout New Vegas. Number 8. Mass Effect 3 Vindicated Back in 2012, Mass Effect 3's ending was a disappointment, and one fan took it upon themselves to rewrite much of the game's story while keeping the overall structure and design intact. Mass Effect 3 Vindicated from Jerry Pugliese is a massive document over 500 pages long that incorporates new elements, changes up many of the game's key events, and most importantly, delivers wildly different endings that reflect the player's in-game EMS score. The document is still available to view on Scribed, and I've linked it in the description. Destroy, Synthesis and Control branch off into six different variations, with some clever reversals for each. Without giving anything away, Destroy on a low score can result in negative outcomes, while a low score for Control can result in something more neutral and bittersweet. By far the best part of ME3V are the character epilogues. Similar to the ending slides in Fallout New Vegas, Jerry takes us through every possible outcome as the cast we've grown so attached to bids the player farewell. All told, it's a very compelling rewrite that can easily become headcanon for many fans of the franchise. Number 7. Free Radical Released in the 90s, System Shock is one of the best cult classics you can find from that era of gaming. The chilling blend of first-person combat and sinister sci-fi horror made for a unique outing, one that inspired many individuals over time. One of the best-known written works is Free Radical by Seamus Young, released as a piece of fanfiction that is still available online to this day. It was a small-scale personal project that eventually found strong recognition with the fanbase, even receiving a mention on Goodreads. Taking place over 28 chapters, we follow a man named Deck who navigates the halls of a dilapidated space station and confronts the rogue AI Shodan. Being a graphical programmer himself, Seamus was already well suited to telling a story about computer systems, artificial intelligence, and widespread disruption. The result is a great read that expands on an often cryptic and mysterious franchise. 
Video game releases are often accompanied by official books that expand the overall setting, but Free Radical keeps things more simple, concentrating on what made the game so memorable. Number 6. Halo Remember Machine Cinema, or Machinima for short, has been a major avenue for content creators to show off their skills, with the Halo series often leading the way. Efforts like the Forgotten Spartans already showed off great potential, and in 2023 a little-known creator called Sodaz created Halo Remember, a fan animation built with modding and filmmaking tools. The 25-minute film takes place during the Battle of Reach, and features all the iconography and elements we've come to expect from the franchise. What makes Halo Remember so powerful is how it perfectly captures the look and tone of the sci-fi universe, while also conveying a lot without too much dialogue or facial expressions. Fans are in for a real treat at a time when the Halo franchise is really taking a beating from both its owners and wider media. It will certainly wash out the bad taste of Halo Infinite and the Paramount TV series. Sodaz showed everyone how to make a passionate and detailed contribution that respects the games and ties in closely with the lore. It's free to watch on YouTube, go and check it out if you haven't already. Number 5. Another Metroid 2 Remake Metroid 2 Return of Samus is the most basic and underutilized release in the long-running series. Being released for the original Game Boy in 1991, the title was very much a slimmed-down version of the NES original. Through the years, this has prompted many efforts to expand and build on the old release. The most notable of these, from a fan perspective, was another Metroid 2 remake from Argentinian programmer Milton Guasti. In 2016, he rebuilt Return of Samus using graphics in the style of Metroid Zero Mission from 2004. The unofficial effort brings the game up to the same standards as other 2D entries in the series. On top of that, new areas, abilities and mini-bosses were added to the package. Sadly, AM2R was struck down by Nintendo, who have always been notoriously overprotective of their copyrights. The company would eventually put out their own remake in 2017, but Milton's creation was still widely enjoyed by fans of the series, even being nominated for the Game Awards at one point. Development may have ceased following the DMCA takedown request, but AM2R still stands as a great example of what a single fan can do with classic titles. Number 4. Helgen Reborn When players first booted up the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim in 2011, we were introduced to the world and characters through the opening prologue in a settlement called Helgen. Most players went through the opening level and forgot about the ruined town immediately thereafter, but not Mike Hancho. This creator embarked on a long-winded quest that allowed players the chance to resurrect the place and uncover an entirely new story along the way. It's one case where modders have really gone the extra mile to add to the central package. Helgen Reborn is a brilliantly produced questline mod that boasts original characters, voice acting, and a thoroughly rewarding outcome for players who install it. Things start simple enough as the Dragonborn delivers a few letters and items, but your objectives quickly expand as you slug it out in a fight club to pay off a gambler's debts, choose to side with the Empire, Stormcloaks, or Full Independence, and finally come face to face with the sinister forces of the Elven Old Merry Dominion. I can't recommend this mod enough, even if you have poured thousands of hours into Skyrim already. You can download it from Nexus Mods. Number 3. Fallout Red Star Returning to the realm of machinima, many will be aware of the recent Fallout TV series, but before that was even a concept, fans of the post-apocalyptic RPG put together their own short films. Leading the charge was Wayside Digital, who kicked things off with Fallout Nuka Break, which is still available to watch on YouTube. Running for two seasons, the web series was already impressive enough, but in 2016 the studio went even further with Fallout Red Star, a standalone fan film that made an excellent impression. Taking place on the American West Coast, Red Star follows a lone NCR ranger tracking down a person of interest in the ruined wastes. It's a quiet and fairly stoic affair as our leading man makes his way towards his targets, encountering both friendly and hostile faces along the way. Simple yet effective performances are placed against a brilliantly realized backdrop. The props, costume work and effects are all picture perfect. In many ways, Wayside Digital set the standard for what an adaptation of Fallout could look like. They may be inactive now, but their efforts still earn high praise from the community to this day. Number 2. Pokemon Uranium With huge sales and an even bigger fanbase, Pokemon remains one of the most widely recognized and popular properties. Many fans have taken it upon themselves to expand the series with their own ideas, 
In terms of scale and the amount of content, Pokemon Uranium from JV and Involuntary Twitch is one of the most ambitious projects. Being produced over 9 years using RPG Maker XP, the fan-made game adds 166 new species of Pokemon to catch. It was downloaded over 1 million times on its release in 2016. As the title implies, Uranium features an irradiated Pokemon that threatens to destroy the Tandor region, based on Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. It brings a darker story to the series, with themes of nuclear energy and destruction, a fine evolution of a well-worn format. Once again, Nintendo just couldn't have the fans making their own unique content, and issued another DMCA takedown notice. Pokemon Uranium had the same face as AM2R, but JV did eventually put together a new website to continue developing patches for the base game. Uranium survives online, even after being banned. Number 1. Black Mesa Last but not least, we have Black Mesa from Crowbar Collective, a full-scale remake of the original Half-Life, built from the ground up with modern tech. The project took many years to come together, beginning in 2010 with the launch of the first playable version on Steam. For the next decade, the team worked away tirelessly towards the final release. The jump from 1998 to 2020 is enormous, with the Source engine being used to full effect. In many ways, the detail on display surpasses that seen in Half-Life 2 and its episodic expansions. It's all tied together by a thrilling soundtrack composed by Joel Nielsen. The final piece of the puzzle, Zen, took the longest to come together, but this is the greatest improvement on Valve's flagship shooter, a total redesign of the entire section that removes all inconsistencies. Black Mesa represents the pinnacle of fandom, taking a widely enjoyed product and upgrading it for current audiences, while also cleaning up every blemish on the original. Here's hoping that the upcoming Operation Black Mesa, and perhaps a further effort for Half-Life Blue Shift, receive the same attention to detail. Those were my picks for some of the best fan creations in gaming. Did I miss any? Stick your personal favourites in the comments below. You can find more content like this on my blog and channel.